welcome to another edition of Rage Against the Dice and this today is how to get that bronze effect that I do on my Daleks. Um, it's one that I've actually been asked about as well so this is one of these rare ones where I've just forced my opinion upon folk. Um, it's one that people are actually curious about. So I start off with a Games Workshop colour called Warp Lock Bronze um, and I cover the whole model in that. Um, as you can see I've got three here. Um, what I'm doing is I'm just covering the whole mini and with this I'm using an army painter uh, large dry brush um, but I'm doing quite a thick dry brush on there as you can see um, or as you can't see because my hands are in the way um, I'm going to have to get one of those cameras that goes on my head or something ridiculous like that um, but yeah, so it is still a dry brush, but I I want it to be quite heavy. Um, and so that's what I'm going for. Um, that seems to be a bit better in terms of lighting. Once again, I am really sorry about the lighting on this. Um, if we are going to do more painting style tutorials and stuff, it's something I'm going to have to look into getting the lighting. Because my lighting is set up perfectly for my painting. Um, because that's what I do, I paint. Uh, but it clearly isn't so perfectly for painting and filming. Um, so yeah. Um, show you on another one. So it's just a very, very thick dry brush. I'm just doing it on the main body itself, the helmet, I'm leaving basically just the eye stalk, the whisk and the plunger, or you know, his weapon areas, everywhere else is getting it. So that's two of them, and then we're going to get the final one done. I think for steps moving forward, um, you know, I'll just show you on the one, and then I'll get the rest done when off camera, just for the speed for you guys, really. Um, once you've seen one set of dry brushing, etc., you don't really need to see it again. I'm leaving that base, the little foothold bit, the little his actual little base bit, I leave that black as well. Um, if some bronze does go on there, it's not the end of the world, because I will be touching that up with black anyway. Um, yeah, so that's the three Daleks in their warp block bronze state. Um, And what I'll do is, I will give that a second coat of warp lock bronze. Um, but again, I'll do that off camera. So you guys don't have to sit and watch me basically repeat the same step. So I'll be back in a minute. And then we're going to do the next step, which is a null oil gloss. Um, so I'll be back in a minute for that. So we're back and they've had their second coat. So now we're going for the non oil gloss. So see if you've watched the Cyberman video um, that I do use this particular colour, um, especially when doing any kind of metallics, things like that. I think it's just really, really good at bringing out the natural colours that are already there. And again, we're not going to be too fussy with this. We're just going to slap it everywhere, just getting it all over. Mm. If you have got just a null oil instead, you can use that. It's just going to lose some of that glossy style shine to it. Um, 
You could, at this stage as well, if you wanted, you could do more of an Agrax Earth Shade style wash. Um, and that'll help bring out the browns and the coppers. Um, whichever wash you use, it isn't going to affect the stages that I'm going through now. So if you prefer a more brownie, use the Agrax. If you don't want the shine, then just use normal oil. Um, but as I said, I'm recommending for this particular video just to use the normal oil gloss. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish the other two Daleks. Um, and I will be doing two coats of this. And then when we come back, um, we'll be moving on to the next stage, which is Hash Nut, Hash Hut Copper? Hash Hut? Hash Hut? Hash Hut Copper. Um, yes, so we'll be back in a moment. Once these have dried, have the second coat and dried again. Um, and then we can move on. So when they're now dry, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to move on to hash up copper. And again, I'm using the same dry brush, which is an army paint, a large dry brush. And I'm doing this as it's quite a thick mix I've got here. Um, where I'm using almost straight out the pot. It's got a little bit of water in. And just... Ah! Screeching, apparently. Silly Daleks. I'm just rubbing it everywhere first. Along the grain like that. And after that, I'm switching it up, going up and down. Again, it's quite a thick dry brush. It's not that I want to just pick up the edges, but I just want that colour to still be able to shine through a little bit. So you've kind of got like that. So the difference between them is that and that. So I'm going to do the next two now and then we're going to come back and I'm going to show you the next step. And kill a Dalek apparently. Brilliant. It won't be a moment. So as you can see they've each had two coats now. Um, and I've kind of got this kind of look going on. Um, exactly what I was hoping for. Next colour we're going to use is a colour called Sycorax. There you go. Sycorax Bronze. Now for this I'm switching and I'm still using a brush but I'm going for my games workshop medium dry um, and I want this to be a lot thinner of a dry brush um, so where before I was really really heavy with this, where possible, I just want to be catching the edges. So I'm a lot lighter. And I'm just picking out these little edges. Oops. Just catching it. So you've kind of got this kind of sheen thing going on here. Um, again, I'm going to put the photos at the end, and I'll put some photos on Instagram just so you can you can see, you know, in a better light. Um, and that's kind of what we've got going on with the Dalek there. I'm going to do the other two, so we've got three up to the same stage. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add another wash to it. And to this we're going to do it as the black non oil gloss again. Um, and you'll see kind of the effect that that has. Won't be a moment. So guys, I made a mistake for you there. When I said you need non oil next, what I meant was you're going to need Agrax Earthshade Gloss. Um... My apologies there if you are painting along at home, which I don't know why you would be. Um, but I really love the idea of it. And someone's like, oh, I must follow what Kev does. Um, no, it's more... 
brownie and it picks out sort of what we're going for a lot better. Um, now the next stage what we're going to need is golds um, and the golds in question um, are Games Workshop golds so I'm just going to get them out in a minute and then I'll be able to tell you what they are. I've already done the other two Daleks so there's the three Daleks there now with their gloss style effect on them. Again, if you're watching this, then you may have seen the photos that I've put up on the Doctor Who Miniature Game Facebook page anyway. So you'll probably already know what my sort of bronze Daleks look like when they're finished. So even if you are watching along at home um, and you're thinking, well, it's really dark. I'm struggling to see a bit with regards to it. Because I'm showing you the colours and because you've seen the final product, you know if it's for you or not. Um, and we should be okay. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that dry, give it a second coat, and then we're going to move on to doing the gold itself. So I won't be a moment. So the good thing about this, oh, welcome back, by the way, but the good thing about this particular colour scheme we're doing is that the bronzes act as the base coats for the gold itself. So the next thing is just liberate a gold, and you just pick out the particular areas. Now... I'm using just a Citadel small base brush. And then I'm just following across that line. You can see straight away the camera picks it out. And it will take a couple of coats. Um, and that's mixed uh, one one, so one water, and then one paint. So anyway, it changes the look of the Dalek. Then you've got to do all these stupid little balls. Luckily, you can just clip the tops of most of them. Because, like I said, the bronzes act as a base coat. But you will. You'll definitely need to do two coats with this. And maybe even a third when working with this particular metallic. For a much better finish, there's the Vallejo Gold Pack Metallics range. Um, I find that they're just, they give you better coverage in the Games Workshop paints. But if you're working on a budget or you're working on being able to pick up the paints in your local store, your Games Workshop ones work sufficiently, which is why they're the ones I'm using for the purposes of this tutorial. I'll make sure to list all the paints that I did use as well in the description. I mean, these are the first real paint tutorials we've done, this one and the one for the Cybermen. So if it is something that you enjoy, certainly let us know in the comments section and we'll look into doing more of them. Again, we try and tailor our paintings any painting tutorials or tips and things that we do towards being able to recreate. So it's never going to be 400 steps with blending and shading and stuff like that. Um, it's always going to be stuff that you can recreate. Now here, all I'm doing is I'm using the excess that's left on the brush as a dry brush. Um, you can use this if you've got a small dry brush. And you can just quite happily pick it out with that. Um, but for what I need, that works sufficiently well. So as you can see, starting to take shape now. I am going to have to give them a second coat um, to repeat myself for the hundredth time. Um, a two thin coat. Always water down your paints. 
You know what I mean. So yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get on and do the other two in the exact same way. And then they'll be ready for a wash. This time it will be the Null Oil Gloss. Wash that around the whole model um, to bring it together. And then it's just a case of doing the silvers, the black for the base, and then picking out the stalks and the lights. Um, so yeah, I'll be back in a moment once I've done the gold on all of them. But as you can see, it's really, really simple to do. Once you've done the main bulk of the Dalek using uh, Warlock, Hashnut, and then Sycorax, because all the high, all the base coating stuff's done for you, you're really just picking out the last little bits um, with the gold, and then it's a big wash over the whole model to tie it together, and then you're just picking out the stems, uh, the whites, the blues, and things like that. So you're not working with a lot of colours. Um, but yeah, I'm just repeating myself now, so I'm going to go off and get these other Daleks finished. I'm going to come back, and then we can just take it from there and get these last ones finished, which will be me boxing off 24 Daleks. Huzzah! So, welcome back. While, obviously, I was waiting for that washes to dry and such, I also did the blacks. Sorry, while I was waiting for the gold to dry, I also did the blacks and the silver. So the end of the stalk and the plunger and the base black and then the gun, the main body of the plunger and the main body of the stalk were all done silver. So you can see there. Uh, the only reason being was that it's something that you don't really need me to show you how to put silver and black onto those bits. And it means that when we do the non-oil gloss we can do it all at the same time. It's basically almost like dunking the model in it. Um, only hopefully more artistfully done. So I'm just using a normal wash brush. You can use the Games Workshop, any one you like for it. And we're using, as I said before, non oil gloss. Um, and we're just putting it everywhere. I'm just working it in and it has such a nice effect on metals brings out the true terror of the Dalek you can almost hear it screaming exterminate And you can do the whole stalk because it's all just silver or black. The plunger and it's gone. Have it, and then I would always advise, same as I have with each one, I would give it two coats. So there you go. I haven't watered that down at all, it's just straight out of the pot like I tend to use the non oil gloss. Obviously other people are different. If you do still prefer to water down even your washes, you can do. It's not going to detract anything from what we've done here. Um, just giving a second coat. And it will get a second coat all over. Um, so I'm just going to leave that to dry. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do the highlighting on the little bits. And then we're going to finish off with the lights and the lens at the end of the stalk. So, while that dries, I shall see you guys in a bit. So, if you're still with us at this point, thank you very much. What we're going to do now is we're just going to do the highlights on the silver. Um, and for this, I'm just using a small Game Workshop dry brush, and I'm using Stormhost Silver. Um, as I said, I usually, when I paint, I have way, way more steps than this. But the whole point is I wanted to paint some, show you something that was easily recreatable, that isn't going to take you all day. So for those of you who don't like painting but still want painted models, it's not a chore. It can be fun. It can be quick. Um, it doesn't need a huge amount of skill. And there is something for me anyway, something that feels better about playing with models you've painted yourself. Um, I could be in the minority here, certainly. Could be, but 
No, the techniques that we use in here, dry brushing, minimal colours, using washes and stuff, they're all very, very quick sort of shortcuts towards getting better looking models. So there you go. And then all we're going to do is for the black around the base using the same brush. Um, we're using a paint called Eschen Grey, which is Skaven paint. just taking the base just brushing it along to follow along those edges catching the raised areas and then tip of the plunger tip of the eye stalk again just trying to stay consistent across all of them really Now, so we have three very, very nearly completed Daleks. What we're going to do now is around the Daleks' eye stalk, there's like a white coil, um, and we're just going to use that. We're just going to, I'm going to show you a very simple technique, which is white scar. You put that on, and then you use the null oil gloss around it, and it does the shading for you. I'm using this straight out the pot. I wouldn't recommend doing that for the most part um, on anything else, but it seems to be okay for these. I've done it on a few Daleks to try it before that I did this thing. It'll s and there you go. So it's the whitened area. So once you've got your Dalek to this point, you're virtually done. Um, it's all a case of what colours you want to paint the lights and things like that. Now the technique I'm going to show you is going to be doing them um, black. No, blue, sorry. Blue. Um, moving up to white. I'm just adding the null oil gloss around that. Like I said, it's not a technique I would usually suggest on most whites. I find that you need to mix your whites and that type of thing. But for this, it just seems to work just perfectly. I mean, it helps that the colour underneath is the silver. So if any of the excess gloss goes on it, it doesn't matter. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let all that dry. I'm going to give it its other coats. And then we're going to move on. And we're going to go straight into doing the lens on the eye stalk and the lights on top, which are both using the same. Canto blue, Altoc blue, Hoth blue, and then finished with a white. So cool. Be back in a second, guys. So it feels like we're on the home stretch here. Canto blue. And for this, I'm using the medium base brush. So the Canto blue and get his little cheeky little lights, which look like ears. Yeah, that's a way to anger every Doctor Who fan ever. All the Daleks' lights are ears. So there you go. And then 
make the point on the back of your hand and just do the stalk. Stalk first on this. Now the colour I use as the wash for this is a secret weapon wash, and it's called Sapphire. So just to keep in tone with the whole games workshop being able to pick up everything that I'm using I'm gonna use Gulliman's blue and do the same thing not wash sorry a glaze so there you go we have that so far you can give them a second coat if you wish um, I normally do for this I'm not bothering Next, I'm doing all talk blue. And you want this a mix of just one one. And you're just catching. Not quite a dry brush, but almost. Do the lens. So I'm going to do the same thing again with Hoth. I find with this, if you skip some of the steps, like you can do with the silvers and things like that, that you don't get as good a light effect. So, unless you really, really don't have the time or the inclination, I would definitely go through each step with the blue. And then I'm going to give it the Gullum and Blue wash, or glaze, and then the final thing we do on it will be the white. Then you'll have some finished Daleks. What I've been doing as well to show, let me see, to bring out the metals a bit. I haven't been using a matte based varnish on them, I've been using a satin style gloss. And I've been using the army painter one but the games workshop one would do just as well if they still do a satin one or similarly your Vallejo or something like that so then we get Gullman Blue just like I said and you just go do. There you have it. So now that's going to chill. And then we'll just finish it with a white. But as I said, the colour I actually normally use is this. Secret Weapon Sapphire. And it is fantastic. You can buy it online. Um, I've never actually seen it in a gaming store except for one which is now closed. Uh, I don't think the two are related. It's just that they stocked a load of different products. A load of varying ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that to dry. And then I'm going to finish it off with the white. Here we have our Daleks. Everything's starting to take shape. Have a close look. 
And there you go. So this whole thing couldn't have taken us more than half an hour to an hour at the very most. And it's got quite a nice look to it. So be back once that's dried and then we'll get them finished off and then we'll get some photos at the end so you can see them. So we are back for the final step. Huzzah! Uh, for this I'm using White Scar or if you're an old Games Workshop guy, Skull White or you can use one of the many, many Vallejo Whites. And I'm just using a small Games Workshop dry brush for this. I'm just lightly brushing it. And you'll probably need to do this twice. You could also edge highlight it to much the same effect. This is obviously quicker and fits in more with the paint scheme that I've been showing you. So again, not the most thrilling part of painting the model. But it can make the difference. And then we're going to finish it off just with a small brush. And just do those stalks in the same white. Alright, and I'm going back to the old trusty Windsor and Newton Series 7s. <clears throat> I tend to do it as just half the lens but you can do whatever suits yourself some people like to do just like a blob in the center you can do the whole thing white and then just put a white wash around it if you wanted to um, but yeah in terms of it that's those Daleks finished now As I said the whole thing couldn't have taken me more than about well, probably about an hour. Once I edit this, it might actually be less once I cut out some of the waffling. Um, oh yeah, that's it. I cut out some of the waffling. If you've watched my videos, you'll see how much I waffle. Imagine how much was there before I cut some out. But no, that's it. So the colours that I used, which is what people were asking, was Warlock Bronze, then Hashut Copper, then Sycorax Bronze to finish it off. For the gold, I just went straight in with liberate a gold but that only works if you've already painted the whole model in the bronze um, lead belcher for the silver and then highlighted in storm host silver um, black was just yabadon yeah, black and then highlighted or dry brush highlight with re uh, eschen um, and then your blues were cantor altok and hoth and then skull white to pick out the details and then using those washes and glazes in between um, there I mean thank you very much for sitting through this guys I hope you enjoyed it I hope for some of you that gave you exactly what you were asking for um, that sounded really ominous I mean in terms of asking for how it was how the look was created it's a very very simple look obviously the ones I did in a non painting tutorial had a few more steps uh, there was a lot more watering down and things like that. Um, but in terms of this, I think it's get a very similar look for, you know, half the time. So thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe because it fuels mine and Alan and everyone else's vanity. Um, and yeah, it's been a pleasure doing this painting tutorial for you guys. If you do fancy seeing some more, pop a note in the comments below. Obviously, we do have other Doctor Who miniatures. I wouldn't mind getting my hands on some Zygons in a painting sort of demonstration y kind of way. But yeah, thank you very much. Pray the dice guys hope they smile upon you and take care, guys.